We'll see who's coming down with something once number one's defenses kick in. Oh, number one isn't going to be happy about this. Looks like number five's going to have to shut down the whole grid. Oh, man. Leave it up to number one to design a maze that shoots tennis balls. Now, why did number five have to go and agree with number one about how cool laser defense beams would be? Number one, why'd you always got to make everything so complicated? Now every time we have a problem, it's a complicated one. Electrified floors? When did those get installed? Oh, man, they are not going to make number five's life any easier. Huh. Now that's disgusting. How can one villain make so much snot? My bedroom? Now that's going too far, Flimface. Using my disco ball against me? That's some code. You just wait. Once the system's shut down, number five is gonna redecorate your face. Hmm. If I could just flip these switches in the right order, number five can turn off the security system here. Phew. Looks like old Sneezy missed a spot. At least there better not be any boogers in number five's favorite corner pocket. That's all you got, snot for brains? And number five was just getting warmed up. Oh well, now let's see how you dance to the remix. Snot in number five's DJ booth? Ooh, you are so asking for it. Well, 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 if it isn't one of the common cold snotty little flu bugs. <laughs> Ain't nothing number five can't handle. That does it. With the security system shut down, number five has made the treehouse safe and secure once more. <laughs> Good work, number five. I'll be there shortly with dear old Grandma Stuffum. Number one, out. Ah, oh, well. Now to talk number four into helping me clean up this mess. I don't know, number two. I don't think that snot bomber has taken any damage. Uh, I hate to spoil the mood and all, number two. But our shots still aren't hurting that snot bomber. And he's all out of engines to blow up. Would you please stop that? Smooth flying, number two. These spare parts should get us back on schedule to intercept Sticky Beard. I'm in. Now to sneak through the sweet revenge and find Sticky Beard. I can't handle all these candy pirates at once. I'm gonna have to pick them off one by one, number five style. Hmm. These candy pirates are so sugared up, number five ought to be able to sneak right past them. I just gotta stay out of their way. If just one of those pirates spots me, I'm gonna need a hiding place fast, or else number five is walking the plank. Candy pirates. Why can't people just share their candy? Number five will never know. Hiya! Man, that was too easy. Powdered sugar dry? Man, that's almost as bad as number two. We'll see how lacking it feels when I stow my foot in his sticky butt. Chia candy cannonballs! With these candy pirates' aim, number five can't think of a better way to waste perfectly good candy. Well, nowhere left to go but up. Sure would be nice to hang out and enjoy the view, but when number five is done with sticky beard, he'll be enjoying the view from his new prison cell. Jelly beans? Man, surely number five is worth more than a handful of old jelly beans. Mean licorice or maybe some sweet... Number five? Number five! Where are you? Where do you think I am? I'm trying to catch Sticky Beard. Well, we, uh, I have a little problem. See those cannons? You gotta take them out or the cool bus is toast. And we won't be around to pick you up after you've captured Sticky Beard. Man, does number five have to do everything around here? Oh, man. You mean number five's got to fight all these candy pirates by herself just to get old sticky butt off the ship? Okay, there's the cool bus. Now I just gotta... What the? More candy pirates? Man, don't these guys get shore leave at some point? How about that? All right, just a couple more of these sugar-coated creeps to deal with and it's all good. Man, I may have silenced those guns, but number five's ears are gonna be ringing for a week. <laughs> it's time for number five to go deck sticky bum. 
Well, 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 if it isn't a Jolly Roger, the tastiest and rarest candy in all of North America. Maybe Sticky Face has good taste in candy after all. Hands away from the beard, Sticky Fool. There'll be no more candy where you're going. The only place you're sailing back to is prison, Sticky Face. Oh, come on. Of course number five will give you your freedom. Freedom to sit your sticky butt in an Arctic prison cell for a long, long time. <laughs>